Hi, welcome to America's Grip. I am your host, the Sensible Libertarian. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into today's topic of government overreach. Thinking about government overreach, we need to really ask ourselves, well, what is it? Is there a unilateral definition or is it based on perspective? I believe it's based on perspective. For me, government overreach is anytime the government steps out of their metaphorical box that the Founding Fathers designed the government to stay in. Anytime they step out of that box to govern things they have no business governing. They have no business even having a say over anything. Well, then we need to ask ourselves, what sparked government overreach? Well, the biggest thing that I feel like that was the really the true precedent to modern day government overreach was the New Deal. More specifically, things, the creation of such things such as the NRA or the National Recovery Administration. The National Recovery Administration, what it was, was it was an administration that brought together labor, industry, and government to create fair practices in the American economy. Okay. First off, the government needs to stay out of, my, stay out of the damn economy. Period. It's not your job. We'll take care of that. You just don't worry about it. Okay. Yes, it was resolved in 1935 based on this contract. They could have easily kept it had they chose to keep had they chose to vote to keep it alive. Thankfully they didn't. Fast forward a few years later to 1952, President Harry Truman created the NSA, the National Security Administration. The National Security Administration was created during that time to help us stay on top of Russian activities. And during that time, we were starting to really, the Cold War was just starting to kind of ramp up, not really a whole bunch yet. The tensions were starting to run high during 1952. Understandably, President Trey Truman would like to create an agency to kind of help keep them in check. I believe after that, if you look through our history, you see things where our government starts to overreach itself out of the box. Next biggest thing I'll say, the war on drugs. It is not the government's job to arrest people for using and abusing drugs. It is their choice. It is their body. Let them do it as they wish. And if you look through our history, when government, when government overreach even occurs, well, people justify it in their own ways. Whatever. Oh, we need this. It's understandable we have this because, because of this going on, because of that going on. Whatever. Okay, but right now I'm going to go back to more specifically focusing on the NSA. The NSA can listen to our conversation via the cell phone that I'm using right now to record this video. They can listen, watch through our camera, laptops, laptop cameras, tablets, whatever. They can listen at any time. Thanks to Edward Snowden, he revealed that to us. So I'm going to take a quick little break here and wave to my NSA agent. Hi, NSA agent. Make all my viewers that are watching this video, make sure you wave, make sure you wave hello. Don't leave them out because you know they do have feelings too. They are human. They're not just government idiots. But I remember they don't have brains because they're working in the government. So make sure you say it slowly. Hi, NSA agent. <laughs> anyway, going back to our discussion here. Thomas Paine, the writer of the book Common Sense. Once famously said, government, even in its best state, is a necessary evil. In its worst state, it is an intolerable one. With that being said, why do we let our modern government have so much unchecked power? Why? Because we're scared? Because we don't know how? There it is. Our modern government hates an informed citizen. That is not the way our country was designed. That's not the way our founding fathers intended it for it to be. So why don't we let it happen? Because we're uninformed. We don't know this. That's where I come in and help inform the American public. Our nation was founded by rebellious men who grew weary and tired of governmental tyranny. So why do we not why do we let the ugly evil grandchild that is our modern government go with so much unchecked power. 
Our government is no longer for the people, but for power. They want most, as much power as they possibly can get unchecked. Take, for example, the coronavirus pandemic. They are using it to see how much unchecked power they can get and use. And I say it's bullshit. My call to action for everyone that is watching this video, become informed, read everything you can. Because for together, we are strong and we are united. The government hates informed citizens. With that being said, join me next week for even more awesome content. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know who's all out there watching. God bless y'all. God bless your families. And most importantly, God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. See you next week.